everybody welcome to the Dancing with the Stars results show recap two full hours of fluff <laughs> it was very fluffy alright so the first whole hour plus was dedicated to why did you come back to do the show <laughs> maybe because they were asked or maybe because I was waiting for somebody to say hey I needed the guap I needed a job come on Bristol and Mark up first and by the way there was no Brooke Burke for the first plus hour it was total deliciousness did Tom Bergeron finally put his foot down and say like I'm doing this ass alone I don't need that empty head <laughs> or did she just have diarrhea or did she have to feed her kids I don't know anyhow Bristol said I deserve to be here just as much as anyone else. That's why I should be on the show. <laughs> it didn't really make sense, but she wanted to come out of her shell. She wanted more confidence, I suppose. And they, then they showed the clip from last night of Mark saying, give that ass its own brain. That was worth the entire two hours right there. <laughs> All right, why did Kelly Monaco come back? She's missing her fire and she wants it back. But Val... <laughs> apparently doesn't watch daytime television ever and didn't know that General Hospital was a soap opera. He actually thought that she worked at a hospital. Dumb. <laughs> I mean, even if you've never watched daytime TV, come on, read somebody's bio. All right, Pamela. Pamela Anderson. It's a challenge from head to toe. Why does she look so shell-shocked this season? She looks like the mafia is after her I don't know and poor Tristan he got stuck with her she's such a mess and he's just trying to keep her calm trying to keep her happy it's not working though oh someone save him all right then <laughs> Joey fat one he wants revenge he came in second to Apollo oh no and he doesn't want to do that again he wants to say Bleh, Apollo all right, and Kim, they didn't have anything for her, so they just showed them moving around uh, photos in the dance studio. Lame. All right, Drew, it's fun. Of course it is. And Anna, she's a freaking taskmaster. He got stuck with her, and he looks a little afraid of her. She took the tapes from the season that he was on and reviewed them and made up a plan for him and... Please don't hurt me. That's what it's, it should be written on his forehead. Please don't hurt me. Poor Jonathan. <laughs> All right. Uh, Apollo. He loves competition. So why wouldn't he want to be back on the show? Hell, he already won once. He could probably win again. And Karina. He is very funny. <laughs> All right. Elio Castroneves. Because of my little girl. She watches lots of races. And now she was watch me on Zs. <laughs> and Chelsea. Uh, they had a clip of her saying. South America speaks Spanish. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, Melissa Rycroft. It was the best experience ever. And I want to prove it to myself. That I could do it again. Now that I've had a kid. And Tony, hell, he's just happy to be there. He's a nice guy. Uh, and he wants another chance to prove that uh, he could be there for Melissa because he feels like he let her down the first time. He's such a sweetheart. Uh, Maddie's old dance teacher actually went to a uh, seminar with him and he is amazing in person and as a teacher. All right, Gilles Marini. I want a second shot at winning, and uh, by the way, did I happen to mention I was working? <laughs> this show is probably the best thing that ever happened to his career, so hell yeah, he's going on again. And Peter had nothing to say, or they didn't think anything was interesting enough, so they just kept showing all these clips of him saying, I'm not a dancer, I've never danced before, I haven't done this before, I'm not a dancer. Uh, then they had the encore, which happened to be Cheryl and Emmett, their cha-cha from last night. Very good. It was the best high score number of the night, so of course they're going to pick that one. I was kind of hoping they would uh, 
gone out on a limb a little bit and went with Kelly Monaco, but no, they went with Emmett. All right, so Emmett says, I didn't want to be the guy who said no. <laughs> and Cheryl said, it's not awkward not being with the other two guys that I partnered on the show. Not at all. All right, and Sean, she wasn't doing anything else. Hello, she just retired from the Olympics. A forced retirement. It was an injury. And she's short, so they had to sit down on the floor for her little interview, which was extremely weird. And Derek and his jokesters, uh, where is she? Where's Sean? Sean, where are you? Oh, you're way down there. You don't need to do that anymore. Sabrina, she wanted a second chance. And Louie, he is just trying to tame her. Well, that leaves us with Kirsty. She loves dancing. She wanted to be a dancer when she was a little girl, and she didn't have the patience for it, so it never happened. And Max, he's, it's time for Max to kiss, uh, how do you say, ass. She's the best partner I ever had. Okay. So it's time for the pro group dance, and of course all of the dances tonight were choreographed by Jason Gilkison, and it was great. It was a lot of fun. There was a lot of things going on there. <laughs> it almost made the ballroom seem small. There were so many people on stage. So then Brooke returns. Oh, just when I thought I escaped. I thought she wasn't going to be there for the whole episode, but then she showed up. Actually, honestly, she's getting better at it. But she's still tiresome. Alright, Bristol and Mark are the first couple in Jeopardy. Yeah. Then Pitbull comes out and starts singing Don't Stop the Party. It's his uh, new single debut, I guess. So when you don't want to stop the party, what do you do? You hand out wiener sticks to everyone. <laughs> Light up wiener sticks. And then, if that's not enough, you send a giant flashlight dude on stilts out. It was... I was afraid. It, I was afraid he was going to get unplugged, and then what? The party would probably stop. So, the second couple in Jeopardy is Drew and Anna. Nobody wants to be the first one off. They had a little video package on uh, how much that would suck. Obviously, because you're not getting the cash. So then the troop dance. The six uh, people in the troop came out, and of course it was Jason Gilkison again. And then... They did a few more results, but Tom flubbed his lines. <laughs> he announced that they were all safe, and then Brooke had a little hissy fit because she didn't do her line. And then he said, okay, you're not all safe. <laughs> and then they were all safe. Little gaff there. All right, so then Justin Bieber came out. <sighs> I guess he was okay if you like Justin Bieber. It looked like he stole his dropped crotch pants from J-Lo, though. This dancing was fun E It was pretty funny. So then we find out that the last couple in Jeopardy is Pamela and Tristan. Then we find out that Bristol and Mark are safe, so that means the bottom two are Pamela and Tristan and Drew and Anna. And, as predicted, Pamela and Tristan are eliminated. Thank God for Tristan, right? <laughs> that was going to be a hell of a season to see this the whole season. Alright, so... She can sleep easy tonight. She doesn't have to worry about it anymore. And Tristan has plenty of time to do the alternative dances. Good, good deal for everyone. <laughs> Alright, so hang on till next week, because I'm sure it's going to be exciting. Um... Every week's going to be a heartbreaker, so get the, get the cry towels out. You'll need them. Till next week, much love.